just sketched out a very simple scene here. Um, just a simple bridge here and some mountains in the background. So I'm just going to give it a good soaking with some water first, just so uh, that sky will blend in nicely and I'll get no hard edges. Also, we'll uh, get no crinkling in the paper, which is always a pain if you're using the thin stuff. Which this is, but you can get away with it if you uh, wet it all over. Anyway, that was raw sienna. This is going to be ultramarine, just ultramarine on its own. Push that in, something like that, a bit down here. And I'm just going to add a bit of light red to it. A bit of light red and then sort of nice little sort of ready bits in the clouds. Like that, a bit in the water. Um, even a bit of Payne's Grey to it as well if you like. A bit of Payne's Grey. And again. Leave it at that. Let's get our tissue. Take a few little clouds out. Especially where the um where the mountains are. A few more up there. Obviously the dirtier tissue is the more subtle the uh, clouds will be. If you want nice bright white clouds use a clean bit. Just want a subtle effect, use a dirty bit. I'm just going to, I'm bother cleaning the brush, just going straight into all those sky colours and let's pop in some of these distant mountains. Just to sort of veer it as it comes down a bit. Soften a few of these now, do A few little clouds going up and around them. And in front of those, you've got some. Even a bit of green, it's a bit of yellow, just to give it a bit of green flavour. In fact, we have to clean the brush now, it's getting a bit dirty. I'm just going to clean the brush and I'm going raw sienna, lemon yellow, and it's giving off. I'm just trying to constantly vary it as I come down into the uh, middle ground. Bit of burnt umber. Ultramarine. Preserving like a little path there, doing off. So I'm just gonna just let the bridge stands out. I'm just gonna put this in loosely, just up to there, just up to that point. Loosely, I mean to sort of light, lightly, not loosely. on the profile now where the bridge is. Mm, a bit, of, a bit of grass down there. Grass up there. Well, 
Well, let's pack up the uh, bridges. So I'm just going to give that a quick dry first. So we've got a good stretch for this, pull it tight. So it's flat, and then I'll dry it, and then I'll put the bridge in, just very simply. Sticking with a hike, I'm just going to go a sort of dark, darky mix, darkish mix, ultramarine, burnt umber. Start over there somewhere. Working my way around and the little tools. You can see how it doesn't have to be, it's not an exact science. I'm just trying to vary it as I go along. Keep dipping into ultramarine, burnt umber, raw sienna, do one is just want it nice and dark under there I might have just just make that a bit darker Take out um, a piece of card if I can find it. And let's just scrape out a few little beautiful stones. It's like a stone bridge, so let's just a few little stones across the top. Two stones around the arches. Two little stones around the arches. Just to sort of emphasise, obviously you've got to get this in before it dries. And you just You know, to get it in before it's dry, but I've, I've still got a little bit of time left. It'll just emphasize those arches and bring it to life a little bit. Doesn't matter as long as you get every sort of you know, it doesn't have to be all bang on. A few more in there, the rest of it just here and there. 
down to the hull bridge. That needs to the hull bridge. The oil, the oil filling a lot of it. So let's put some water underneath that. I'm just going to go ultramarine, Pines grey. In fact, the same colours as the sky. And sort of quick. A few quick sweeps. No, I haven't done. The river does flow on a bit. Let's just make that the river there. It's not it. it just sort of narrows, narrows a little bit. More. Something like that anyway, you get the gist. Let's just darken these shores a bit. A few rocks and stuff down there. And a little bit over on this side. And over there. Path or something going off into the uh, into the doodars. Uh, a few trees, it's all green, really strong green. Pines, grey, lemon, yellow. There's like a, just like a few little trees and stuff up there. Use the rigger for that. Number three rigger, I and mean, then just a few little twigs and branches and stuff. That ain't coming off very well. Bit more water. That just looks like a complete mess. See what I'll do on this. Let's just cover it up. few shadows I think. I'm just going to clean the brush and I'm going to go light red, ultramarine. Um, a few shadows, let's do a few from these trees, cutting across there, something like that. And we've got like a big tree on this side, imagine one, some under the shadow from the bridge. Over there. Little 
figure, switch back to the rigger, and have a little figure get over the bridge. walking stick a few little birds in the sky and I'm going to pop my name down there and just call that one done I think Let's have a closer look at it. So here's our finished painting with the mounts on. As always starting up here in the sky with our birds using the tissue to take out the white cloud and then just various mixes, raw sienna, ultramarine, pines grey and alizarin crimson for these other clouds. Same colours as the sky to put in the distant mountains and hills. Might look better if I didn't use the tissue on these and just kept them with a stronger profile. You can see the bridge. Remember to put the uh, the sort of shadowy bit on the inside of the arch and then just use use your um, piece of card just to give the impression of the stone work around the arches. Remember you've got to get it in before it dries otherwise it's not going to scrape off. A bit more stonework along the top and the uh, the illusion is complete. A few little shadows here and there trying to help bring the thing to life a bit. Well thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that. Keep practicing, any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.